So hello, this is Our Clocking TV. We are currently at the CES in Las Vegas, and we are now with MSI, and we're going to talk about their big band motherboards. Hey guys, uh, I'm Rajiv, uh, PR and technical marketing with MSI, and we're actually here to show off our Big Bang Fusion board, which has actually, uh, you know, been released as far as the press uh, press release is out. And this is a brand new uh, motherboard series that we're launching that uses pretty much all the features you could ever want. And the big, real big uh, bullet point out of this is the Hydra chip that's on the board itself. And what this allows is um, multiple GPU scaling between NVIDIA or ATI cards. Absolutely limitless, you know, you, um, you have no restrictions whatsoever as what you want to do. Uh, on top of that, we also have other great features like OC Genie, uh, the one-touch overclock solution, and as well as our high C, uh, high C cap for the best component design. We also have the first THX certified sound card for the ultimate audio experience as well. So pretty much this is the ultimate gaming board. If you want to take a look over here, I'll actually go over some of the features. So as you see here, the Hydra chip sits underneath this heatsink. We have our OC Genie, the one touch overclock. We have touch sensitive buttons actually, so these aren't you know mechanical, they're very cool. We have a V kit where you can actually take a digital multimeter get real-time voltages. Our high C caps are all around the socket and what this allows is because it's a low profile you can actually put really uh, exotic cooling solutions on there including copper pots for extreme overclocking. We also have our Dr. Moss chips that sit underneath here and this is our power regulation. We've actually been using Dr. Moss on a lot of MSI motherboards in the past and it's been proven to be the best solution uh, compared to the competition. So where you normally hear 32, 24 phase, it does not compare to an eight phase Dr. Moss. And again here, as you can see, we have our PCI Express. We have three here. And if you actually take a look up here, we actually have a live demo that's showing off the Hydra chip in action. So we have an ATI 4890 sitting on top and no physical bridge between that and the 260 GTX, which is very cool as well, less complicated. And if you notice here, we have a good gap for better cooling. This helps in you know, really closed, uh, closed air environments. And we have our THX sound card up here, so it's not actually sitting in between, again, causing more heat issues. And you have full access to, again, the OC Genie, the clear CMOS button, and your touch buttons as well. So a lot of design went into this actual motherboard, and uh, if you take a look back here, you can actually see the live demo. It's a benchmark, but uh, it's proof that the pr the product works. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors that you know it may not work. Well, this is proof to that <laughs> that it does work. And as you can see in the top left corner, the ATI is the main display, and the Nvidia is the secondary GPU. 